Okay, so the command sit, we know it's probably the most used command when it comes to uh, dog training and or commanding our dogs, or it's one that we use often in conjunction with maybe another command like come to sit or come here, sit. It's usually a progression, but sit is used in a lot of different scenarios and a lot of situations. So let's take a look at a few situations where we're using the command sit. Okay, so in this clip you can see we're going to command the dog to sit. I walk away, I command him to sit as a reminder because I'm going a little further than normal. And then I'm going to ask him to come. And as he does, I'm going to ask him to sit again. Then I can reward after a few of those commands have been met. And I give him a little extra love and a treat and then command him to go down. Okay, now in this clip you can see that our three, almost four year old German Shepherd is not used to eating out of my hands. So when we are talking about shaping and puppy shaping, that's what we're talking about. His nose should be buried into my hand where that treat is at all times, like you see there. All right, here we have our 17-week-old Belgian Malinois, and he pays very close attention to detail, to hand signals, to my, my voice and words, but is also very treat-driven. So in this clip here, all I'm really doing is bringing Taz back and forth behind my back, trading treats from one hand to another and having him sit. When he sits, we go back the other way and then sit and back the other way. And this is part of that puppy shaping, feeding out of the hand, training with your hand, because as they grow older, we'll take this command and build on it. All right, so a little bit on the sit command. So you've seen a few different scenarios where we use the command sit and just a little bit on the puppy shaping side of things. When we talk about that, we're usually talking about trying to get the dog to learn training tactics at a young age so that when they get older, whatever you add to their training and build off of, it's easier. The dog already has a pretty good foundation. So in some of the videos, you noticed that I had the dogs were burying their nose into my hand. The reason that is, and even including Taz, when I did that thing behind my legs, trading the treats in my hands, that is shaping him to command off of my hand. So I want his nose in my, the palm of my hand, and then I want him to read subtle hand signals. So if you want to do that and your dog is older and you're like, <laughs> my dog doesn't care about treats, um, I've got a couple of tricks for you. One, you can take bacon or you can take bacon type of treats. You can take sausage or a meat and you can just rub it into the palm of your hand, okay? So that you get the smell and the grease in the palm of your hand, but there's no treat there. Then have the treats in another hand or a pouch and have your dog put their nose into your hand and follow you as you have them do whatever it is you're asking them to do. When they do it, yes, good sit, and then reward them. Some people use clickers. The click comes right as they do the behavior and the treat follows the click. So I hope that today's video, a little bit on the command sit, helped you out in your training endeavors with your dog. And as always, spend time and love on your pooches.